All right, guys. So we've been talking about forever. Daddy keeps saying he's going to do this and uh, getting your hopes up. And here we go. So this is what we're going to be doing over Christmas holiday. We're building a raspberry pie. Raspberry pie. A raspberry pie. That's right. An old time video arcade, which will play thousands of games. And then what we decided to do. Well, let's see. I saw this article a long time ago. For this guy was saying that he was taking this Atari computer and he put a Raspberry Pi into it with joystick ports. And it got me thinking. I got one of these up in the attic, actually a couple of these, and um, similar. But he's charging 225 pounds, which is what, about $400 for his? So I was like, shoot, we can do that for pretty much free. So I found that up in the attic, which is a uh, 600XL. I'm not sure whether it's working or not, but that's not important. So I took out the motherboard, and um, I think I picked this up probably for $10 oh, on eBay some time ago. That's a cool hardware. Yeah, well, that is the old motherboard, and you can see oh. the date on it. 12 December 1983. 1983? Yeah. So I was like 14 years old then. Oh. But actually, this is a 600XL, and I have an 800 and I want to keep the 800 so this is basically the same thing so what I'll do is just keep it and then if any of the chips these are all socketed ICs if any of the chips in the 800 die I can just pop out one of these guys and so this is basically the same thing as the 800 it's just a little um has a little less memory well okay let's put that aside so sometime back I got this how to build a Raspberry Pi retro game console for $35 and let's see there's any cool pictures not really well anyhow um it's this see this here the that is the raspberry pi oh. this is the model b the latest one it's got a four it's got a quad processor oh my goodness and it has a gigabyte of ram and has uh an ethernet port and four usb ports it has an HDMI port, and that's for a screen if you want to use that, or a camera. Anyhow, uh, and on the back here, this is a SD card that is 8 gigabytes. So I think all told, this was like 40 bucks with the SD card. Onto it, I've loaded RetroPie, which is a, a gaming system. And I uh, also got this right here, so that's our HDMI cable. Um, if we want to hook up to the TV, right? Yep. Uh, this was about five bucks off eBay or Amazon or something, and it is a VGA converter, so we can use one of these uh, screens up here. If we want to build this into a box, or if we want to use a cheap video monitor, we can do that. So let me take this apart real quick and show you what's going to happen. So here's our beautiful inside case. Here's our Raspberry Pi, and it's going to go something like, something like uh, that, and then we'll put some mounts inside the bottom here, and the reason why is I can pop this off, this, um, there we go, and you can get to all the, you can get to all the relevant ports that way. And then here, what we're going to do is we've got some extension cables coming, and I'm going to route these over here and mount them to the back of the port. And same thing with the RJ45, the Ethernet. Hmm. So that way, oh, and the other thing, there's going to be a little. Let me see. Yeah, I found this guy that mapped this thing out, which is wonderful. It's got the whole pin out for the keyboard here because the keyboard is not your standard USB keyboard obviously it is a old-timey membrane keyboard and so I thought it'd be really cool to actually convert this to a USB keyboard that you could con conceivably you could plug it into any PC you can plug it into a Mac you could or you could use it for the Raspberry Pi right here right so so I found this guy it mapped all out all the connections that goes to the internet, right? Oh, yeah. And let's see, wait a minute. Oh, and I found this guy who used this, which is, if you've heard of an Arduino, this is a 
called the Teensy, Teensy 2.0, which is a version of the Arduino. And he's got this connecting to an Atari keyboard. He wrote a program for this, which I've got here. Atari 600XL, the Teensy code. So I've got that in there. Uh, converts this to a USB keyboard, which you plug in there. So basically, this thing's going to have, this is a 32-bit computer, I think, maybe 64. And then the Arduino, or the Teensy, is an 8-bit, running at 16 megahertz. And then that thing is going to be in here somewhere. I'm actually going to bring that port out external, too. That way, you can use this, plug it into a PC or a Mac, or you can just reroute it back into externally here, back into the uh, Pi. So uh, there'll be some flexibility with this, what we can do it. And it'll make it kind of modular so we can use it for other things in the future. Maybe even put a hard drive in here or something. Anyhow, so total outlay was, I don't know, that was like $10 on eBay like 10 years ago. That was like 40 bucks with the card. Um, keyboard, I mean the VGA was like, Know, five bucks so what are we up to like 55 bucks so far and I got some cords coming some extension cords and those are I think six dollars for four of them I mean all told we're looking at like 60 bucks to make a really cool awesome retro arcade which will play Super Nintendo it'll play Thousands of games. play Atari 2600 Atari 5200 all Atari 8-bit it will play uh, Sega Genesis, oh. I mean, it will play pretty much anything. Isn't that cool? Any game. Yeah, it won't do like the latest, greatest, yeah. kind of like, you know, uh, PlayStation 75 or whatever they're called. But it'll do everything else, like anything that's kind of five years old or older. So awesome! Yeah, isn't that cool? I'm going to be working on this. Yeah, so we're going to build this over the holidays, and we'll let you know how it goes. Should be fun. Okay. And then you can use, they've got Commodore 64s, they got, you know, so if you got one of these in your attic, hey, get it down, clean it up, and um, make it useful. Yeah.